Um, I'm looking for the sides that come with the uh, chicken and shrimp or ribs and shrimp. All right, and the ribs and shrimp. You know, what type of shrimp? Fried or grilled? Uh, fried. Two sides. Um, can I do the red beans without the rice? Yes, you can. And let me do a, a side salad. Yes, sir. Would you like any dressing, sir? Uh, ranch, please. All right, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so as you can see, uh, we're not getting any further than this. I was coming out here to walk the St. Tammany Fishing Pier. I guess it's closed. Either that or they just don't want anybody using it right now. Uh, so that's a bummer. But I hate to come all the way out here for nothing. And I still want to see the bridge. And what I mean by bridge is the old bridge uh, that was here before. Uh, Katrina destroyed it because that's what's the actual fishing pier now uh, and so instead of going home empty-handed I guess there's one other way to do this all right so I should point out that I wasn't aware of the condition of the pier prior to this trip I was actually coming here with the expectation of walking on the old bridge and getting some video and launching the drone from it as you saw by the barrier, that that's no longer possible. So I uh, took the drone up and decided to get some aerial view of it. To the right, this empty area was a parking lot. Uh, and you look under the billboard, there's a, like a little trailer or something. Uh, there was no fee to get in because I had been here before, but they, uh, there were restrooms and vending machines right there. Here we go. Uh, this is the entrance to where the fishing pier was. And you can see it's completely devastated right there. Uh, as soon as the camera pans back down some more, you'll be able to see it better. But you can see, even see it right here, looking down at the, uh, the entrance. Where it looks like where the land meets the... Uh, the very entrance to the uh, the walkway there that's completely destroyed so uh, once again we've got hurricane damage and I'm assuming again it's Hurricane Ida and there it is it's not possible to access it so that's why they've got it closed off so what you're looking at now uh, to the right uh, you see the uh, the smaller looking bridges that is the original I-10 twin spans that used to cross Lake Pontchartrain in this area. Uh, Katrina came in uh, 2005 and destroyed the vast majority of the bridge. There were more remnants of it scattered throughout the lake. Um, 
I would imagine some pieces may still be in the water. Um, as you can see, though, most of it's been removed. Uh, I think about a year after the storm, uh, this newer bridge, higher bridge, was completed. And they put it higher because if memory serves, uh, on the old bridge, a lot of the road deck, the, you know, the water got so high in this section of the lake, it was just lifting the, uh, the road deck off of the pylons and putting it in the water. So this one will obviously, or hopefully, not have that issue happen to it. But this is uh, in Slidell, or at least the north section is Slidell on the North Shore of Lake Pontchartrain, St. Tammany Parish. And you cross over to uh, New Orleans East. Uh, some friends of mine actually used to have a fishing camp or out on uh, Irish Bayou, which is uh, in the direction the camera's turning now towards the South Shore. We came out fishing uh, in the lake a few times over the years, but uh, unfortunately that camp was also destroyed by Katrina. And if you look far to the uh, to the right, there's another bridge there. That's the old Highway 11 bridge. Uh, that one has a bascule on it that opens up to boat traffic. So this is unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Hopefully they'll restore this at some point. So if you can go back and fish off of this pier. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate any support you can provide. And thanks once again for everyone watching the videos. And once again, till the next time, drive safely.